In a world where we are bombarded with information 24 seven and distraction is rife, information overload, is it any wonder that we end up feeling very distracted, overwhelmed, and at times really unhappy, juggling work, relationships, it's hard to know what to prioritize. By the end of this video, you're gonna have the laser focus that you need to achieve anything that you want. So let's get into it. So let's look at the first of the five mind hacks to train your brain to declutter and to move you back into clarity and focus. Here's hack number one. Mindfulness is all about getting out of our minds, letting go of thoughts, falling into the flow and being really present in the moment. And the great thing about mindfulness is that you can do it anytime, anywhere. You don't have to have a dedicated time of day or spend time practicing it. You can do it wherever you are. So I'm gonna share with you three different ways that you can incorporate this into your daily routine without even a thought. So the first one is mindful eating. So when you're eating a meal or a snack, just really savor that time. Think about the textures, the flavors, the smells. Be in that moment, savor that food. Be mindful of it, be present with it and enjoy it. Next, number two is mindful walking. So when you're walking, just take each step, feel the ground below, listen to the noise that you're making as you're walking along and just feel yourself grounded. Just be mindful of that. You can do this anytime, whether you're walking to school, whether you're walking to work, anytime you go walking, just take that time to be mindful of the sounds around you and how it feels to be walking and counting those steps. And the third one is a mindful body scan. And you can do this wherever you are. You can be stood on a train, or you could be on the bus, or you could be walking to work. And it's all about just focusing in on different parts of your body. So first of all, think about your mind, think about your head. Can you feel any tension there? Go into your neck. Do you feel any tension there? Is it nice and relaxed? Your shoulders, your arms, your wrists, your hands and your fingers. Feel any tension, sense any tension or feel if they're relaxed. Into your legs, into your feet, into your toes. And this is also a great technique for if you suffer with anxiety or you suddenly feel very panicked because it brings you back into the present moment and that's what mindfulness is all about. Next, I'm gonna tell you more about meditation. And if you think, I can't meditate, I struggle with it, then these tips are gonna help. Meditation has many benefits. It can help reduce stress, anxiety, and give you that clarity of thought back and actually help you to feel much happier in your life. However, many people that I speak to say they struggle to get into the zone when it comes to meditation. So I'm gonna share my three top tips for how to get yourself into that meditative state and to learn to meditate because it does take practice. So the first one is watching your thoughts. So whenever people think about meditation, they think that your mind should be completely clear of thoughts. But that's not what it's about at all. It's all about observing your thoughts, but not following them. But as the first exercise, what I want you to do is close your eyes and just allow your thoughts to run. Don't try and stop them. Don't try to follow them into a long story, but just watch them like an observer. Just let them run, let them do what they want to do and just observe them. Because that's the first step to being mindful. And the first step to entering into a meditative state is understanding that your thoughts are there and you have them, but they're not you. Next is progressive muscle relaxation. So a bit like I mentioned before with the body scan, but what I want you to do is actually tense up your body. So instead of letting it relax and letting that flow, I want you to tense up each part of your body one at a time. So start with your feet, make them really tense and then let them go. Make your calves really tense, let them go. Your thighs really tense, let it go. Your chest and your stomach really tense them up and let it go. Your arms really tense, let them go. Your hands really tense, let them go. Your back and your shoulders tense them up, pull them back and let them go. Tense up your neck and gently sway it side to side. Tense up your head and let it go. Again, this is a great way to ease you into getting yourself into that meditative state. Next, breathing exercises. There's lots of different breathing exercises that you can do, paced breathing, spacing your breathing, but actually the one that I find most effective for relaxation is literally just to close your eyes, 
Put your hand on your chest, your hand on your stomach, and just repeat the words in your head. Inhale as you take a deep breath in. And exhale as you breathe out. And do it again. Inhale. Exhale. And as you do, you're focusing on those words, but you're also focusing on the sensation of your chest rising and falling and your stomach rising and falling. And any time your mind might start to wander, just bring it back to those words, inhale and exhale. And now I'm gonna show you how to calm your mind to experience less anxiety and to feel calmer and have that clarity and focus that you need. Coming up now, hack number three. When you're stressed, it's really easy for your mind to go into overdrive and you become overwhelmed with thoughts. One of the easiest way to return that state of calm is to do a little bit of self-hypnosis. And a simple way that I like to do this is really all about putting yourself into an alpha brain state. And this is the perfect state for feeling calmer, for creativity, and for decluttering and de-stressing you. And it's really simple. All you need to do is roll your eyes up as if you're looking into your eyebrows or imagining a spot just above your head and take a nice big deep breath in and breathe out. And again, keeping your eyeballs up, fix to that space, take a nice big deep breath in and breathe out. And another deep breath in. But this time, as you breathe out, just gently close down your eyes. And you'll find that this instantly transforms you into a calmer headspace and gives you that clarity of thought. This is also a great activity to do right before you do affirmations because it supercharges your affirmations and seals them into your subconscious mind. So try it out and let me know how you get on. And another good one, hack number four. Now I'm gonna teach you the journaling technique that I teach a lot of my clients, which basically takes all of that clutter out of your mind puts it down onto paper so that you can sleep better every single night. So before bed each night, write out everything that's still floating around your mind. Maybe it's something that's bugged you about the day. Maybe it's something that you need to do. Maybe you were having a conversation or an argument with somebody and you were kind of like, mm, I wish I'd said that. Write it all out. Get it out of your head and onto your paper because this is a form of release and letting go. And that's so important to have a good night's sleep. And if you are the type of person that's kind of overwhelmed or stressed at times and you wake in the middle of the night with that kind of fear of, oh, I've forgotten to do something, keep that notepad by your bed because then you can wake up, quickly scribble it down and you'll be able to go back into that instant calm sleep knowing that you've got those notes for when you wake in the morning. So hack five, is all about getting you really clear on your priorities. So at the start of each week, write a list of everything that you think you need to do and then prioritize it in four columns. So the first one is do now. That's the really, really important priorities that have to be done by a certain time. The second one is defer. Maybe these can wait for a little bit longer. They don't necessarily need to be done today, maybe later in the week, maybe next week. The third one, is delegate. So maybe there's things on your task list that you're like, actually, I could get someone to help me with this or I could get someone to do this for me. So remember, this is all about prioritizing your time. So if you can delegate, try it. And the last one, delete. Sometimes we just add so much to our lists, but actually think about what it's adding to your life or what it's in fact taking away. And remember, when you review your list, just make sure you score out the ones that you have completed because then it won't feel so massively overwhelming because you'll see how far you've come and how many of those you've ticked off your list this week. So there you have it. Five simple hacks to give you that clarity of thought and that focus to be the calmer, happier you. By the way, if you find that your overwhelm is so bad and you're really struggling to see a way through it, an RTT session could help. Check out the link in the video description which will take you to how you can find an RTT therapist in your area. Thanks for watching. And if you found this helpful, you might find my other video helpful too. Five secrets to rewiring your brain fast.